Hi, this is Michael Bevan with the Akron Beacon Journal and Ohio.com. Here today with Tony Gatto of the Barberton Magic's football team. Coach, you guys are 12-0, undefeated, heading into week 13, playing an Archbishop Hoban team who's 11-1. They've won two state titles in a row in Division Three. It's the biggest game in Summit County this week. What, uh, what do you think about your ball club heading into this matchup? Our boys are very confident. Um, you know, they, they, they thought about this game for a while before preseason. Um, it was a game we talked about when we found out the pairings of uh, the regions. And, uh, you know, we kind of felt like we were good enough to possibly, you know, be this deep in the region. And, um, you know, we thought we'd probably be playing Hoban because we knew Hoban was a great program. As far as your seniors, it's something we talked about in the preseason. It's something we've talked about after games this season. <laughs> what, uh, what do you make and think of your seniors and how they've led this squad? I, I mean, I've, I've talked a lot about them all year. They're a special group. Um, you know, they do, they've done everything we've asked them to do. Uh, they work very hard. Uh, they play together as a unit, um, are very coachable. They get it done, you know, in the community, in the classroom, in every way. It's not just the football field. Uh, you know, they've been together for a long time. They've been together, since, most of them have been, been together since second grade. Uh, you know, this is just one of those types of games that, um, you know, somebody asked me if, you, if we, they thought they would respond. And, you know, they've been responding since they were in second, third grade. They've won their whole lives. You know, it's not, you know, I've been blessed. You know, it, it isn't that we've done such a great job. This is a special group that's been coached really well from the time they were in second grade. And, and they played together for a long time and have done well. Now you were a Barberton High School graduate in what year? 92. Now you're the head football coach in 2017. Uh, is, there a, is it a little extra special being a guy who came from the community? No doubt, no doubt. You know, I, I was in Talmadge for a long time with Coach Joe Vassilotti. Um, you know, and some of these coaches were with us. Um, you know, I was pretty happy out there. I never had an issue. I think I was out there 13, 14 years. And the only job I ever wanted was this one. I, you know, I never applied for any other job. Um, I, was, I was content with, with being at Talmadge. And this, this opportunity opened up, and um, I knew it could be pretty special. Um, and obviously, you know, I'm lucky enough to be blessed with a good group of kids coming through that um, have won a lot of football games for me. As far as uh, the key wins of the season, I mean, they're all important. They're all, you know, vital to the squad. But what are some of the ones that stick out the most for you? Obviously, you know, Capley was a big one, uh, you know, came up short two years in a row, uh, both really good games. So Capley was a big one this year. And then Aurora is, is another program that's, I, I think they've been in the playoffs 13, 14, 15 straight years. Coach Mahalik is amazing out there um, and does great things out there. So those were two huge ones during the season. And then, of course, the St. V. Um, the kids kind of handpicked that game. Um, you know, we, we were that, that week was open and, and Mr. Sable was coming to me and asking me about, you know, certain teams that uh, were possibilities. And, uh, you know, I'd go back and ask the seniors or the juniors at that time. And uh, they wanted to play St. B. So, and, you know, it kind of worked out where um, they came to our place and we played them. It was a great game, great mass atmosphere. And we played really well. Do you expect that type of atmosphere this week? <laughs> Yeah, at Green it's, it's going to be pretty cool. I can't, I can't, I can't really breathe at school right now. You know, I've got people texting and calling and emailing. And, um, you know, our community is super excited. Um, you know, it's a big game, so obviously you get more people. But you know, our community supported us all year. You know, you've been to plenty of games this year where you've seen our stadium. It's been packed all year. So, um, you know, I told my mom I didn't want her saving seats. She she saves lots of seats for a lot of my family. And I told her she might get beat up if she saves too many seats. Um, I told my family they better get there early enough to not get my mom whooped on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, getting back to those three wins, those were, from talking to your players, those were three, three, three weeks in a row, correct? Sure. What was the yeah. order? It was Copley, Aurora, um, St. V. Okay. All right, Coach. Well, thanks a lot for joining us. Good luck this week and have fun out there. Yes, sir. Thank you.